Not the James Harden of the Brooklyn Nets that decided to show up once in a few times, decided that he was fat, then all of a sudden he took a break and said he had a hamstring issue, but as soon as he arrived to Philly, step, like back, step back, step back, step back. I think you're on the same drugs Lil Wayne was on this prime. <laughs> <laughs> and they were on a bunch of records, on a bunch of mixtapes. It was hot, it was nonstop, it was Jersey, and then they came. It was ah. Shout out to Wayne. Welcome, 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 welcome to the show. So tell us, Yanka, what, what's popping today on uh, Straight Facts? What, what are we going to talk about? The 2022 trade deadline has come and gone. What are your thoughts on the trade? Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Me, I, Lots I, of moves to talk about. Oh, yeah, what are you going to talk about? Well, the obvious. I asked, the last show, what did I ask? What did you say? Charlotte did, Hornets. Did, did Ben Simmons get traded yet? Ben Simmons got traded. Yes, he, he got did. traded. Sir, who won the trade, in your opinion, Mr. Stephen A. Smith of the local area? I don't know who Stephen A. Smith is. Of the local area is nah, you. Nah, of the myself, local area I'm is myself, you. myself, man. I represent uh, all right. my last name. Now, go ahead. Fend for yourself. Tell us who won the trade, brother. On that trade, the one who won that trade is yes. Brooklyn Nets. By the far. Nets? Yes. By because far? By far. Wouldn't you say at least it's a tight debate? No, because at the Defend end yourself. of the day, all the Sixers are getting is James Harden. Paul Millsap finished. Done. <laughs> He's Paul got Millsap something to tank. is not going to help. He's got something out. to tank. Nah, stop. Because in Brooklyn, he wasn't even averaging five points a game. So they were trans- looking for trans- mutual trans- agreement trans- to get that him out over of to Philly, where you just lost Andre Drummond and you lost uh, St- Seth Curry. Good luck on the bench. That's all I had to say. James Harden, baby. James Harden, the Houston Rockets. Not the James Harden of the Brooklyn Nets that decided to show up once in a few times, decided that he was fat. Then all of a sudden he took a break and said he had a hamstring issue. But as soon as he arrived to Philly, the step, like back, back, step, step back, step back, step back. You have to my fitness. You already know. You know? But yo, at the end of the day, what happened to James Harden being an offensive like fire power player, like fire power Mike player? Mike D'Antoni was the coach. <laughs> You still, yeah, but still. Yeah, I think you guys got to remember the Charlotte Hornets, I think, are the team that won the trade deadline. Uh, so you're uh, saying Montreal right Harrell? now, Montreal, Harold, two. <laughs> Miles two. Uh, don't forget as well. On top of Montreal, So where Miles where Harrell. would the Hornets finish at the end of the season in your estimation? Top five in the East. And definitely going to um, be able to. I'll let Zoe, you want to take it from there for this blasphemy? Go ahead. The Hornets, where they're going to finish? You said they said top, top five. five. They'll be we'll lucky to there. not be in the play in tournament. Thank you, Fox. Yeah, you. Hands down. <laughs> <laughs> not be lucky to we can not agree, be in the play. We can agree on that, Alonzo. Yo, but I will say, though, mm-hmm. you know, don't forget they have uh, one of the youngest players to ever play in the All Star game by the name of LaMelo Ball. LaMelo yeah. Ball, you already know. Okay. Big ball of brand. Since, LaFar since had a dream. Since you're a historian of basketball, you know, at the end of the day, to be strong in the, the conference, you need to be strong in your division. Number one, who is leading in their division? Yo, it's only no, no, thank you. No, no, allow the people to know Miami Heat. Miami thank Heat. you. Obviously, and then after that, who's coming people. next? Atlanta Hawks. So that you're gonna pass the Atlanta Hawks. And you're Miami talking Hawks. about the Hawks. They're like the Hawks aren't even that good. They're like the tenth team right the now. Hawks right now. In the last He's talking about games, top five. The last ten games have at least won eight out of two. You that almost had the answer completely. Fast. But I think one thing we can almost. all agree on is the Eastern Conference won in the NBA trade deadline this year, and that's straight facts. Currency and T straight facts. We have another topic. Bianca, tell us what we're talking yep, about. Yep. Today. So what do you think about AI and T Mac versus, and who do you want to see next? So AI team, like, that happened this weekend in Cleveland, right? It sure did. Yeah, it I sure see did. you wearing an Orlando jersey, but let the people know: is that a team Mac or is that a Penny Hardaway? Well, for the record, since we're talking about the verses, it is not a Tracy McGrady. It's actually a Penny. You say Hardaway. Tracy McGrady? It is not a Tracy McGrady okay. uh, uh, jersey. It's a Penny Hardaway jersey. But talking about the beast, um, who do you think is better or who won the versus VP? Would you say it's your boy Tracy McGrady, 13 points in 11 seconds? Or is your boy seconds, AI? Oh, we talk about practice over here. Stephen A. Smith is my cousin. I mean, obviously, AI step over Ty Lue. You know what I mean? Obviously, AI is my guy. So that's your top highlight. I got T Mac 13 points in 11 seconds. 35 no, sorry. 35 seconds. In 35 seconds, sorry. That's crazy. I, that, I, so let me ask you a Pop question. That. Out of the 11 highlights that you saw, do you think those were the best highlights there? Because I know for a fact T-Mac forgot about Sean Bradley. Sean and Bradley, the baptized I remember. The bat- yes, he yes. forgot about Let me ask you a trick question already. Go ahead. Did T-Mac have a signature shoe with Nike, Reebok, or Adidas? 
Dun, dun, dun. Don't say anything. Don't no. help him. Don't help him. I won't. Don't help him. If I was a basketball Five, novice, I might four, have been shaking. Three. Maybe sweating. Two. One. one. Adidas, you already know. Adidas, my niggas. You already know Team China over here. Shout out to all my Chinese over there repping for Yahoo Ming and T Mac. And what about the franchise over here? We know that's TV Francis. Don't disrespect on a basketball like UVP, but it's okay. So who won the verses, guys? Who won the verses? Is it AI or is it Tristan Grady? I'm going for AI because um, when you step over a grown ass man and he has kids and he has brains, I lose, I lose. Watching, and you gave the coach and, the and, 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 and his teammates are trying to lift up his body because his soul has been taken out of the room because he did the step back and he went and he shot the shot the the, the little game clutch of game one 48 piece. You yes, feel me? The and moment he, was big. And then he walked over him and he looked at his teammates. He's like, "This is what you gonna send at me, boy?" And then he's like, "Yo, Shaq." Forget about your 16 and old, man. I just shut that down. You're not, you're not, so you're not disrespectful. They never let them win another game. Yeah, yeah. But that's because yo, Shaquille O'Neal disrespected that company. No, man. no, that's not Who's why. Yeah, that's, that's not why. 100%. That's not why. Last. No, that's not. You know basketball. Who was the finals MVP? You, you know why Who the, the game. MVP? You know why did the 48 points happen? Who do you guys want to see next? <laughs> Very good question. He stopped us right before going to ham. Um, I want to see uh, Jordan, Kobe Bryant. Jordan, Kobe Bryant. Okay, all right. okay. All right, all right. What's your second pick? Because that's too cliche. Go ahead. No, nah, but you said no. No, no, no. Like obviously, I, I, I want to see Kyrie. But do you me. know for a fact? If you know this, they started off with AIT Mac. Do you really think they're gonna shut it down next episode with Jordan, Kobe? Let's all I'm saying is, you said who do you want to see who next? Do you think what do you, gonna, you, who do you think is gonna put be put be on next? They're gonna put D Will CP3 week. But that's who you want. That's who you want to hear. No, that's what about Kyrie hear. Irving and Damon Lillard? Hold on, hold on. No, wait, 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 wait. wait hold, hold on. I'm not gonna let this ride. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I tried it. Right there. This guy said MJ and Kobe was too good, and then I say CP3 and D Will. Who don't forget from 2009 to 2013, that was the biggest debate in the NBA. Who's the best point guard, CP3 or Darren Williams? So you're telling me CP3 and Darren Williams before CP3 and Steph Curry? 100% CP3 oh, no, and Steph Curry no, no, are not no, the no, same no, player. Stop, stop, stop. Yo, D. Will finished after he left Utah. All he did was finesse Brooklyn to get 100 million. Facts. That's all that he was good for. The name like. The name great. That's Those it. Those years I just gave you are not what you just talked DP, about. DP, you're my boy, but right now you just compared Deron Williams, he, which is my boy. He's a 90s guard. You know, he's got, you know what I mean? He's got the muscles. Compared to Stephen Curry, family. Now, I didn't say anything about Steph Curry. I said D. Will, CP3. I That's know, what I said, but, but what do you say? Steph they Curry? Were just because Steph Curry is box office. Who said Steph Curry? I said Darren Williams. Chris he's agreeing that Paul. he would rather see CP3 versus Steph Curry yes, highlights sir. than CP yes. Will. But I agree was the big debate for those four years. Thank you. But yeah, anyways, me personally, what I would rather see um, is uh, Paul Pierce and LeBron James. I hey! I would love to see what's that hit for. Will they ever forgive Ray Allen? Why is he so mad? Why is Paul? Currency and T Street Facts. Yes, sir. Back. Another topic. Uh, Bianca, tell us, people, what we're talking about right now. We're talking about what are your guys' thoughts on the NBA All Star game? I got three thoughts on it, okay? (laughs) He, I, I, let me terrible. One that. word. Phoebe no, no, said no. it. Let, let me, let Here's me my three thoughts. Can I, it can I was speak? trash. Hey, 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 two miles. One at a time. Okay, okay go ahead. Get, give us your honorable take there. So. Yeah, let me speak for once. Uh, I'll allow Thank it. You. Go yeah, ahead, right. brother. Right. CHI work, you know? <laughs> Collaboration. It's okay. So, yeah, number one, we still know that LeBron James is still Cleveland's, you know, very own son. Mm-hmm. We know that Giannis will always play like it's like a, his last meal, no matter what. <laughs> He makes sure he gets 30 pieces, easy work. No, and uh, don't, asterisk, asterisk. Giannis are you going to allow me to finish my point? I just want to. I'm just saying, yeah, you got to go, go ahead and relax. finish. You got to relax. Yes, yeah, go, go ahead. And number three, Steph Curry is that boy. That boy is going to make sure he's going to get a championship. We got to remind him. One thing, he's, one thing he's missing on his whole career is that all the championship he wins, he's never been a finals MVP. Yes. And right now, what he did last time with those 16 three-pointers, just to allow the league know that I do this for fun. I know. Like Trey Young, stop it. You're not my uh, my, prede- my predecessor, whatever you want to call him. The heir apparent, hells no. I did a, a fake. 
I turned around, I told you it's going in. You know, and, you're looking at, and then I'm not even done. Yo, who, who else is on the court there? Anybody from Giannis, it's not even, sorry, Chris Middleton in his face with Pep. Zach Two Levine. Oops. Zach no, Levine. No. It's crazy. In his face. It's very hard. Um, Joel Embiid with, with Pep all day in his face. That's all you heard the shots. We knew it with Pep, that's the sound of when the rim just goes right through the, 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 the ball goes right through the rim and then whoosh, we're past. That's, 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 that's to cut you off. That's to cut you off. That's what but it did. Even my dad, I was talking with my mm -hmm. dad about like the All Star game, mm -hmm. and he's like, "Oh yeah, but it's it's the All Star game, right? Mm -hmm. They're just throwing it." I'm like, "To score fifty, mm -hmm. you still got to be supremely skilled." Yes. Like you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Go ahead, finish it. Like, oh, you, you finish it three no, points. No, no, I'm not done. You you yeah, like to, yeah, you like to add to no. Those are my three points. I was working but, with your timeline. Go ahead, give us your last no, point. It's okay. At the end of the day, we all we all know who the three superstars in the NBA are. Giannis, LeBron, and still LaMelo Ball. Go ahead. Stop. <laughs> LaMelo Ball. <laughs> LaMelo, the only thing that's uh, interesting about that guy is his outfit. And I think VP likes him so much, he just wants to dress like him. No. One that's thing not I really his like, name, man. I mean, that's straight up, that's what he's so focused on. You like that man's well, inspiration? Well, Giannis is an off. It, his job is secured. Um, so is his brother's jobs. Um, Giannis is the real one. Which, which brother? Which brother? Which brother? Giannis? Right, Giannis' job is secured. <laughs> It's been proven, okay. and the little brother's just happy to be around. I mean, I just got a ring without Giannis, though. VP, you you hated this All Star game. Yeah, it's safe to say. Why? Word. Just just word. justify your answer. I hate the strong word. I definitely um dislike this All Star game. Go ahead, back um, it up. I think uh, just the dunk contest. I feel like everyone who was in that dunk contest, like right before they got onto the floor, they were like, oh, by the way. Just a reminder, the dunk contest is right now. They're like, oh my god, are you serious? <laughs> well, safe to say it was in 2016, eh? And they were just, um, you know, 2016 dunk contest. I actually had the uh, Zach Levine the pleasure of being at that. NBA oh, we there? Yeah, yeah, it was in Toronto. Yeah, that was, that was yes, like, it was rare. It was, it was so more than that, dope, actually. It was, it was fucking Kobe's amazing. Last, uh, All Star game? Yeah, rest so, in peace. Rest, rest in peace, Cole. You know, so, uh, but anyway, um, enough about me. Back to the All Star game. Um, what about the skills challenge? Did you like terrible? That? Terrible, terrible. Again, skills challenge, very terrible. Three point shooting contest. C come I on, it was not that. How bad. Carl Anthony Towns gonna set? I think he set the record for the most points. Twenty nine. That was fake. That wasn't fake, but remember, it was a three point ball, two three point balls. Anyway, all I gotta say is, this is the All Star game we're talking about here. So when it came to the actual game itself, I was happy to see. It was down to Ohio natives. How Steph Curry helped you out? You know, <laughs> um, you know how this guy always be with his theories. Eh? Well, go ahead. <laughs> and that's what I'm saying. He's an Ohio. He's an Ohio kid. Because, like I said, my big thing is for the All Star game to be in, in, in Ohio. Did, man. Tell it what had to be <laughs> either LeBron is going to win the All Star game, yeah. or it's going to be Steph. But since Steph won the All Star game, we hit the game winner. God bless. You know what I mean? So, but you, you knew it was going to be LeBron James taking that last shot because... Well, LeBron actually has never lost an All-Star game while he's captain of the All-Star team. 5-0. Exactly. Oh. Yeah. 5-0. Oh. That's straight facts. <laughs> Back at it again, straight, straight facts. facts. You already know. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So what's the topic? What are we going to talk about today now? So do you guys think that the slam dunk contest should still be the main event at the All-Star? Absolutely not. Of course. Nah, man. I'm going to tell you what. And I'm going to just ask you, you respectfully. You say no? Bro, we're talking about respectfully, dunking. Respectfully. Just give me a little break, man. You always be jumping on my segments. Man. This I'm is just, obvious. I'm just asking you a question for one second. This is blasphemous. Just be quiet. It's very tough. Be quiet. <laughs> it's very tough. Say nothing. It's very tough. Say nothing. Just Go ahead. Stay calm. All right? We'll wait right for your turn. All right. The reason why I say the dunk contest should not be the last event, because we've already seen that. All the best dunkers have ruined it. Zach Levine has ruined it. Vince Carter has ruined it. Kobe Bryant has ruined it. Jason Richardson has ruined it. You know what I mean, like at the end of the day, unless you go get me somebody that's not playing in the league, one of those uh, Jordan, whatever killer, whatever his last name is, one of those players, that's the only reason I'm gonna watch the dunk contest. There's always you, a gap. No, but the Before thing is, 2016. Yo, people like Zoe believe that everyone should get a participation uh, trophy for showing up. That's the kind of guy Zoe is. <laughs> that's the kind you know of guy he is. Because last I checked, the NBA is a competitive sport. Yes. Last I checked, these guys are all super athletes and they're dogs. Mm -hmm. and, just, and the whole point of the slam dunk contest is to be original and to show how you can be extra athletic and do something out the box. And we've seen you know something I mean? this No one saw someone jump from the free throw line until 1985 when? 
Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan. Yeah. Michael Jeffrey Jordan did it. Yeah. I'm now it's 1988. No one's just for the 86. 88. 88. Cool. Detail. Oh, no, it's important. It's important. You're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. So we Yo, hold on. The other thing is to it, and no one saw anyone do the Dwight Howard thing since Jordan. But when Dwight Howard did the whole throw the ball and that, that was huge at the time. No one Every saw dunk contest can be like amazing. When Blake Griffin jumped over the Kia car for the dunk contest. No one saw Did he really jump over, over the car or over the hood of the car? No one saw someone dunk over the car, you know, ever since then, right? So my thing is, is the whole thing is you got to be able to push the envelope and be creative. And if these guys just can't be creative, then... So you already know that this event was garbage this weekend. You said it yourself. Yeah. So, so, and it hasn't been good since when? Like, tell me when you were ready. 2016 is the last Thank year. Was so the, last, the last good was Aaron Gordon got robbed. What was that 2019? Before COVID, yeah. Uh, when he made that track about D-Wade? Yeah. Your favorite player. All right, so yeah, that's good. Um, at the end of the day, what I'm trying to say is this. If you tell me you got to wait every three years, like pretty much almost, like Olympic... Uh, got to wait for the Olympics wait, every four years. No, you got to do exactly. World Cup soccer. Is that what we got to watch for All-Star Saturday now? Yeah. Is that what you want to do now? I or do you want to have the best event, keep on shining until you outshine it? Well... That's, that's the game, right? It's about business. Yo, it's about business. And I'm sure if you track viewership... If you switch it up for All Star Saturday night, in my humble opinion, if you put let's say the three point contest before the dunk contest, it is already. No, sorry. If you put the, the three point contest at the end, mm -hmm. you're gonna see people, a steep decline. People are gonna watch the dunk contest and they're gonna switch. They're just gonna switch. Not everybody's gonna be as gonna gravitate around shout a three point shooting over dunking. Shout out. I mean, shout out Will Smith. Will Smith. What about Will Smith? Switch. Oh, okay, okay, switch, okay, that's interesting. It's a banger. No, I get it. No, it's a weak ass strike. No, but that's beside the point. At, at the end of the day, there's nothing like dunking. Everybody's going to do the wah. And someone that's not a what? Step, everybody's going to be in awe of Zach Levine dunking over fucking Are everything. Are you sure? Because last time I checked, when they see the ball go in like water, nowadays, as you saw in the All-Star game, they like that more than they see the dunks because eventually, like, no, no, yeah, no, 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 they do, they do, no, they do, no, 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 okay, no, if no, that was the case, no, no, why did Embiid no. did not win? Did you watch the 2016 dunk contest? Reggie, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, Reggie, let me ask you a question. No, why did Embiid did not win? Why did Embiid not win? What the MVP? Because his team lost. No, because no, no, why? I told you so. Why? 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 No, no. At the end of the day, they don't care about the dunks. They care about the show. They care about the. No, they care about the show, man. Steph broke the record. So you're saying three point contest is the best show? Right now, as long as Steph Curry is still in the league, yes. I think we're disappointed from the last dunk contest, but whenever you get a Zach Levine versus Aaron Gordon situation, we're reminded that the dunk contest is the highlight of the All Star. What did you think of the dunkers this year? Your boy Cole. It's Anthony. the off year. Your boy Cole Anthony. It's the off year. With the crib Shout walk. out to my New York. With the crib walk and everything. <laughs> yeah? The crib with walk the and everything before that. Was, that was a tough dunk, the, by the, the way. The with the pins. The crib walk was nice. With the, that's what we need. He respects his pops. Okay, okay. So what's the next topic, Bianca? So what are your guys' thoughts on people saying that Lil Wayne had a better prime than Jay-Z? I think you're on the same drugs Lil Wayne was on in this prime. <laughs> <laughs> That's my opinion. Um, okay. <clears throat> Lil Wayne, um, I think, humbly had a better career um, or better prime than uh, Jay-Z. How? And let me go ahead and defend my point. Here. How, Reggie? Um, uh, just before uh, Rikers Island, just before a little Wayne went in 2005 from 2009, he was putting in bear work. Remember, he left no, he dropped no ceiling prior to going inside the institution, and it carried him through his stay and half after his uh, release. Um, little Wayne has been uh, none, nothing but was nothing but on fire during 2000 during that stint. Okay, it's very simple. Jay Z, you know, he's been hot. You know, ever since you know, Reasonable Doubt to four four four. People don't know which one is his best product. He stayed consistent, but from two thousand and five to two thousand and nine, Lil Wayne was on everything and anything. And he, remember, he happened to brought us Drake. Okay, like I just have to mention that. And they were on a bunch of records, on a bunch of mixtapes. It was hot. It was nonstop. It was Drizzy. And then Nicki came in. It was, ah, shout out to Wayne. 
Anyways, what you got? Jay Z's not a bad answer, but no, go ahead. So, yeah, they're go supposed ahead. to get compared to each other, but I don't know. Jay Z's my guy still, but who had the hottest no, what do you crime think? is Lil Wayne. Yo, it all it all depends on perspective, right? Yeah, you're gonna talk about based on like your favorite artist. You're gonna say Jay Z. You're gonna talk about Lil Wayne. It's debatable. I really think um, if we're talking about like what they did in terms of the music, best prime, uh, best prime, best it, prime. In terms of music, I think Jay Z has more classics than Lil Wayne. Thank but you. But I think Lil Wayne, in terms of the executive role, eating off of Drake and Nicki Minaj, selling the royalties to get his own royalties. It's a good, it's a good payoff. Plus more hits. This guy said, no, no, this because guy said, last time I checked, you know, plus, yeah, listen, I said last time I checked, yeah, he had a two-headed monster that was just pretty much clearing house. Young Money was just a team, but Young Money is really two people. Let's be honest with yourself, right? And at the end of the day, Jay Z had Kanye oh and Beanie Siegel. Those were his best oh artists. Like, God. like this uh, outside of Jay Z, those were his best artists. It was really Kanye and Beanie Siegel. Like, who, okay. Outside of Kanye, who else was the best artist that Jay Z had? Oh my God, Cameron. Jobs. Cameron was oh never his artist. It was Dame. That was Dame. That was um, Dame. Yeah, you have to listen, remember. Listen, listen, Yo, listen, listen, Dame and Dash listen, came listen, to Cameron because of the Harlem connection. I don't want to hear care about, about Jay Z. Let's be real. Listen. Go ahead. So you're gonna tell me Sprite is still under Coca Cola? So it doesn't matter. No, I'm gonna be like, oh, but Sprite is the clear drink. Coca Cola is a dark drink. It's still Coca Cola product. Rockefeller Records still responsible for Jay Z. Cameron, Dame Dash, Beanie Siegel, okay. like Freeway, like I mean the yeah. list goes on and on and on. Like, said Joel, okay. well, my question to you is how successful was a Cameron compared to a Drake or a Nicki Minaj? Listen. And that's where the gap is different. And, and now you gotta eat gap. that, you know what I mean? There's I know you gap. tried. No, you listen. tried. No, 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 you saw the smile on the gap. No, 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 you you saw the smile. No, 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 no. You thought about right that. Right the smile wait, was beautiful. Wait, wait. Yeah, like, right capture now. that moment when the man did the Hold on, wait. Can I give you a name? You almost got Oh, I think I forgot about this one. Rihanna over Nikki, first of all. Is Rihanna with Rockefeller or Def Jam when he's a... Second see, you're talking about Second different titles Second in life. Second of all. No, focus, man. And Def Jam, he was the vice Drake, president. He wasn't the I'll CEO. Take Kanye you. over Drake any day of the week. You can have one artist. Okay, Kanye, that's cool. But I'm giving you one thing. You, you, you said Nikki, I said Riri. Okay, you're crazy, I'm bro. just trying to tell you. You said Nikki, I'll say Aaliyah. Like, what do you want? Like, what do you want? Nikki's got more bangers than Rihanna. Drake is arguably bet, has more record sales than Kanye. I'll tell you. Arguably will be viewed as the better artist. You can have your opinion, but to go ahead and just say it's a clear cut win for Kanye over Drake is blasphemous, borderline to me. I'll tell you this, and this is where they're different. And this is where you can't talk to Hove because Hove is a way better album selling Grammy award nominated Grammy Award winning artist. Wheezy Wayne is the mixtape king. And right there, two separate lanes, and they're both the kings in their own worlds. And that's straight facts. And that's straight facts. Straight facts. What are your thoughts on Snoop Dogg acquiring Death Row Records? Death Row! We're talking about 1993, Doggy The 90s, Doggy Style. We're talking about yeah. almost 30 years after the man yeah, did his first 30 album. Years, 30 years you know ago. what I mean? We're talking about Snoop, Calvin Brothers. We're talking about LBC, Long Beach. Mm -hmm. yes. You feel me? We're talking about the guy who said, two of America's most want him and Tupac. They took Maybe on Pac might road. come back. Um, from the dead. Unfortunately, dad, we wish it's possible. Maybe in, maybe in the metaverse, but not in real life. Homie. Maybe not in the so metaverse. Fast. But yo, I think it's a great thing because you're taking a piece of his his, his hip hop history, right? Like giving back to something where he started off and like try to bring it back. Because now today, like, what do like uh, hip hop artists really own? You know, like in terms of their history, culture. Well, Kanye is changing the game too, right? That's Kanye, but as many other artists, right? Yeah, he's it. Yeah, that's pretty much what we're talking about. Anymore. That's a whole '90s, 2000, pretty much like shaped a lot of rappers in yeah. the West. It shaped sure. a lot of rappers in the East because of that competition about how dominating your record label, making sure that the only records you want to hear is this label. 
With the cash money. So it probably what's gonna happen now? Money. You think like Death Row is gonna start signing artists and be the yeah, up that's and that's the whole reason why label. Snoop Dogg did. He has a bunch of artists that he's trying to put on, but he wants to be the CEO that has the name that pretty much has the fame to help out people, give him the opportunity. Like you have October London. If you hear some of his tracks, he's doing his thing on mm-hmm. the Snoop Dogg back on his Death Row. Now you can check that album's coming out. Yeah. So it's gonna be a good platform to help out artists that Snoop Dogg put on and just bring back. The West, the, the fun music well, that Death Row. I think it's official. We're finally gonna get the funding to get the okay, wash. What about what about Dolph though? <laughs> huh? Everyone's so quick to forget about Dolph. Young and, Dolph. And everything Dolph used to talk about about being independent, about ownership, about owning your own music and owning everything that you're about. Straight everyone's facts. quick to go back to. You know what I mean? Actually, the originator. It wasn't that uh, Nipsey Hustle. Either way, my point is, is, is it looks like. Everyone's going back to being under a label. Everyone mm-hmm. wants to go back to, I mean, it seems like this whole time the rap movement was talking about how the rap industry is not good for artists. Everyone talked about how the rap industry, the way it's set up, really leaves rappers broke with all of this stuff, which like, you know, they, they force you to buy all this jewelry and all these things, which, mm-hmm. you know, you're, you're in debt more than you really should be, right? And, and artists don't make as much money as they should be. And don't forget, you know, it's all about more streaming is what it's about more now than about actual album sales. And if you want to stream music, I mean, you can make a beat on your phone and you can make a song on your phone. Look at Cheap Keep Don't Like. You know, he went Mm -hmm. crazy off of that and and he didn't. And I know for a fact Cheap Keep didn't, you know, run up in in the the world's most expensive studio and make that. You saw what the video was made on. You saw what that music video was all about. So I really feel like from, that was almost 10 years now, the way the music industry has been shown is, you can be a very popular artist without having to rely on having a major label behind you to back you. So I, I don't know. So, so I my really question, so why no, 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 and Empire Records is where Dolph and a lot of these other quote unquote independent rappers were under is that they can still remain independent, but the the label, quote unquote, will help you get that distribution out there. Mm-hmm. So if that amount matters on what angle that he's trying to come on, no one's really seen any contracts yet, no one's seen any artists that's been under the label. But I will say historically, if you look at it, um, the success of rappers coming up under another rapper under their own label is very slim. Okay. Because usually it's like TI who really came up under Grand Hustle, right? Mm-hmm. You got good music like Kanye, who really came up under Kanye, right? Hove, T- 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 hold on, Hove, 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 right? You were gonna say something. Rock, hold on, wait, wait, Hove, Rock and Roll There's exceptions, right. but he's right, keep going. Who were you gonna say? I was gonna say T-Pain. But, uh, but, no, but, Shady Aftermath, 50 Cent, right? No, but hold on, it, it but I didn't work, but, but he's talking about the thing is, you guys are giving, like, one of I'm not done. No, no, no. You guys are giving examples. Guys are giving examples. The exceptions. Uh, under the rock and go on, go on, fella, go on. Uh, whatever. Def Jam, Kanye West. No, but I'm saying, but the thing is, you. but Kanye has his own. So Rockefeller Records. We're talking about artists that came up under labels. So right? don't forget. So under Hove, right? Mm-hmm. Don't forget Ochino Sparks, uh, Freeway. Um, Beanie you know Siegel. what I mean? Beanie Siegel. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Memphis Bleak. Bleak. Memphis, yeah. Memphis Bleak. No, but the thing is, but the thing is, how good was Mem Bleak, right? Like Mem Bleak, if you remember how Mem Bleak was, was, was one of the craziest lyricists on earth, Mem Bleak, but nothing ever came of Mem Bleak because Mem Bleak was always, he, he was... Okay, Memphis Bleak or Tony Hill had a better career. <laughs> right now, right you know what now. I'm just saying, like, if we're talking about who... Oh, because like, I think you, Memphis Bleak had you, more of a success. So, but here's, <laughs> a, so here's, a, here's, a, here's the thing about, here's, here's the problem. Tony Yeo, don't forget, 50 said Tony Ayo's biggest issue is like he never really was hungry for making it. You know what I mean? He didn't, never, never, never had that mindset. That but wait, mm-hmm. but the thing about Mem Bleak is Mem Bleak's role under Ho mm-hmm. was he always had to be in check under Ho. He could never outshine the master. You feel me? Mm-hmm. That was the thing with Mem Bleak. And Mem Bleak was always a better lyricist. I will say he would. Mem Bleak, oh, Mem Bleak is somebody. What happened? Hold on. Let he me was listen. a better lyricist than who? Hold on. Which part of the camp? Hold Which on. artist? I would like to know. Mem Bleak mm-hmm. is someone who I feel like if he was allowed, <laughs> if he was allowed, the chains were taken off. Okay, Mem Bleak, the chains. Okay. He could have <laughs> potentially. Was it the song coming of the age that made you think that he was a better lyricist? Because I know he spit some bars, but yeah. No, but, okay. but, but here's the thing though. But Mem Bleak was but how much the body of work that Mem Bleak could have produced versus what he actually could have done. Mm-hmm. You guys all know that. You know what I mean? And that's a problem. With, and the thing is, same thing like why Kanye had to leave. The, the Rockefeller camp is because 
all of the time and effort that would have been put towards Kanye is put towards all these other artists. So Kanye had to cut. Okay. All right. So are you for it or not? It depends on what he does, right? That's 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 what you're. I want to wait to see what happens. The idea of it is great because we all talk about, like I said, big proponent for black ownership, big proponent for black people taking part, like actually, you know, being the players in the industry. I mean, I think the time is is done for the Jimmy Iveens and Leo Cones to who who been who been running the industry. I don't think I don't think it's done for for whites per se in the industry. I didn't say that. <laughs> you did I just not, want to let you know for a fact. That. Did I did not say those words. But go ahead. That, yeah. No, but I'm just saying. <laughs> he did not say that. Not you say you got to identify it. yourself, boy. <laughs> I did the. I read the, the demographics. So, you know, I'm just a guy using my brain. Can I say? That? Yes, you are. <laughs> you gotta use your words. You know, so like I'm saying is, yeah. I've been a big proponent of black ownership, big proponent of black people taking part of our own culture and being able to decide what direction our culture is. So mm-hmm. under that header, yes. I'm all for Snoop. So straight up, straight facts. Level 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 up